conquers. This is not this is not a personal uh, shot at him. I think he gets a bad rap, but I'm playing on that, and lots of people uh, know who he is. So that's also good. We're up on the roof and we're taking pictures, and um, and then like something happened with the light and. I was like, that's amazing, I want to try painting it. So I tried painting it. So it's called On a Rooftop in Brooklyn, number two. And that is On a Rooftop in Brooklyn, number one. I think this handicraft plays a big part in my artwork. It's just like attention to detail. So that there's, you, the work kind of reads at different distances. So you see it as a whole, but then when you get closer, you tend to notice the details. So that's how I like my work to read. is kind of like a space station um, on a planet kind of like ours except um, something that we are unaware of. I don't know. What are the bottom? <laughs> um, that one's called Weirdo Beardo um, and it's just kind of like a man in winter clothes um, and his beard keeps his face warm. <laughs> We made a little bit of a side story with it, where like the guy camping is supposed to be Emilio, and that's why there's a um, sausage sitting next to him, because I stood him up and went to watch airplanes with some other guy. <laughs> It's a destruction derby, and um, it's the dino <laughs> it's the dinosaur uh, machine monster Saurus, I think is what the name was that he gets out of control, and it's the derby guys trying to regain the destruction derby is what's going on. I think they're kind of science fiction, kind of like outer space, fantasy, collage, and pencil. Is that enough? <laughs> uh, most of those drawings are like um, just kind of fun stuff. I don't know, like shapes and people on top of the animals. There's one there that's a Spanish, uh, it's like a Spanish conquistador. But um, it actually, uh, I was trying to draw Benjamin Franklin, <laughs> and then it was still, it didn't come out right, and so I changed it. And that's usually how it is. Like, there's a drawing I did of a guy wrestling a big beaver, and people were like, "Oh, that's great!" And while I was trying to draw a woolly mammoth, <laughs> and it didn't come out correct, so I just made it into a beaver. And then people, you know, they always think like, "Oh, that's so tell, that's so subliminal, man wrestling beaver, like it's funny." And so this part accidental, part fun.